Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. Hello. Thank you for watching my videos. It's Mike Radman, June 6th, 2010. Now, as I was preparing this morning to do my little news report, which has already been posted, I suspect, <coughs> I was gardening on my balcony. Now, I don't have a huge balcony, uh, but I have a balcony big enough for um, to plant a few things. And uh, so I planted some potatoes, I did them in some um, garbage bins, uh, and, uh, you know, fill it with... Essentially, you fill it with some dirt, and you put your potatoes in there, you put a bit more dirt in there, you wait for your potatoes to grow up a little, you put more dirt in, you wait for it to grow some more, and you throw some more dirt in, and at the end of it, um, you get basically a whole garbage bin full of potatoes is how the theory goes. Now, <laughs> the potatoes I've used are uh, uh, organic, uh, organic seed potatoes, so they should seed, they should uh, pop up quite nicely. And I'm using only organic materials, uh, no weird chemicals and stuff like that. We'll see how that goes. I've also planted some things like carrots and radishes and lettuce, and I've got some nice heirloom cucumbers. We're going to see what they come out like. Apparently they grow to almost three feet long and they get all curly and all kinds of weird looking. So that'll be fun. Uh, but <laughs> In all of my uh, excitement at uh, planting on the balcony, I, uh, I bought more seeds than I have planters for. Now, rather than going to buy more planters, because that's just a silly waste of money, I have these things. This is what I uh, moved into the apartment with. Uh, well, some of the stuff I moved. And uh, it's plastic, and it's reasonably nice looking. It's not, you know, black and horrible looking. Um, and so I filled it up mostly with dirt, and I put some plants in there. It was great. And then I thought about, okay, what is this? Because plastics can be bad for you. And this is a Type 4 LDPE. And I said, what the heck is a Type 4 LDPE? Oh, the garbage bins are Type 2. But anyway, so I'm pretty good for uh, for the planting. So I said, okay, well, i got to figure out what kind of plastics are good and which ones are bad, because I've heard that there are problems with plastics. Well... I've uh, downloaded this lovely little guide, Understanding Plastic Recycling Codes. Now, technically, this is not a recycling code. Um, it's, but anyway, different story altogether. I've included some links down below to some of this stuff. Now, this I printed out, and I'm going to stick it on the fridge, because it tells you a nice little handy chart what's good and what's bad. Now, type 2 is pretty good, quote, appears to be safe, and type 4 appears to be safe, um, which is what I'm planting in, so we're going to go for that. So it's high-density high polyethylene. Very good, and low density polyethylene, so it's polyethylene. Now, type 1 containers are the one that most people know are bad. Um, they're <coughs> things like water bottles, um, and uh, there's a number of uh, things that could go wrong with them, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, so I've got the link there to this PDF. Uh, there's another PDF I've got which is called the Smart Plastic Guide, Healthier Foods Healthier food uses of plastics for parents and children, basically telling you some of the things to watch out for, which is good. Um, and of course, because I was looking at the water bottle, I thought, well, what about uh, my good old Brita filter, um, which is um, made out of some plastic, and I bet you this is type 1 plastic, but they don't tell you anywhere. What they do tell you is it's not type 7, it's not the, the really bad one. Um, which is which leaks uh, uh, the uh, what the hell they call it uh, <laughs> bisphenol bisphenol A um, is really bad, which appears to cause uh, chromo chrom chromosomal damage. Basically, messes your chromosomes and messes up with your um, hormones and so forth. Uh, one thing about Brita in uh, North America is it's not the German company that makes these things. It's made by an outfit in California. Funnily enough, uh, oh, and in Canada, their headquarters are in Brampton. Now, if you look at this, that oh, dear, drop spilled water over. If you look at the bottom of it, this one does actually tell you, uh, if you want to contact them, write to such and such address, uh, blah, 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 somewhere, 150, I can't read it. Anyway, it's uh, in Brampton. Okay. And the same thing on the bottom of the, uh, the Brita filter box, uh, or rather on the side. It tells you where to write to them. Um, if you have any concerns and whatnot. Well, guess who else is there? <laughs> well, guess who else is at that address? Clorox! People, uh, they make also, uh, Tilex. Uh, and it's the same address. Hmm, 
Strange, the Clorox Company of Canada. So who knew that uh, the people that make Clorox bleach and your Tylex also manufacture and sell <coughs> the Brita system here in North America. Uh, I don't know how much they're manufacturing, whether they actually manufacture the filters or they get them from Brita in Germany. However, <coughs> one thing that's happened is Brita wants more back into the U.S. market themselves directly. So they've started up a company called uh, Mavia. And funnily enough, the Mavia filters look remarkably like the Brita filters you get in Europe, uh, the bigger ones, the Maxtra ones. If you're interested in North America in, in supporting real com company, Brita, instead of Clorox, uh, I've included a link to Mavia.com. Uh, you can buy the Mavia filters and jugs and whatever through Sears and the Bay and all that in Canada and uh, through Amazon.com in the States. However, <coughs> oh, and uh, the filters in the picture are, are actually manufactured in Germany as opposed to somewhere, because this does not tell you where that is made. Nowhere. It's just nowhere. The box for the Brita filters says assembled in Canada and printed in Canada and assembled in Canada. But where's it actually made? Nobody knows. Could be anywhere. Thailand, for instance. So, uh, and I'm including a link to uh, where you can get the filters in the UK, but more importantly, where you can get a glass filter jug. So I guess I'm going to have to make it take a trip to England at some point and pick up one of these glass jugs. Uh, because rather than having any plastics where the water actually sits after it's filtered, uh, they've got a glass jug under there, which apparently should be better for you. I've included a, a website down there, Holistic Research Company, although there's a number of other vendors in the UK where you can get this stuff, um, and in Europe as well. Just have to go looking for it. Now, <clears throat> one of the other things that happened when I moved in here was uh, I didn't have any plates or glasses or anything because that was all sitting in storage. And so I needed something. So. Now, one of the things that happened when I moved in here was I didn't have any plates or cups or nothing. Um, so, normally I drink out of like ceramic cups and I have glasses and ceramic plates and whatnot. But when I moved in here, I didn't have anything. So, I thought, okay, well, I'll just buy something cheap that I can, I'll just use for a couple of weeks until I can get my stuff out of storage. Um, so I bought myself some of these Coke glasses, and because uh, it was kind of funky, I thought, well, I can use them on the balcony. And a little Coke plates, because I thought, they're kind of funky, you can use that on the balcony. Don't need to worry about breakage and whatnot. <clears throat> and then I, today, looked at them. Now this, <clears throat> this is a Type 6. Type 6 is really bad. <clears throat> type 6 polystyrene, which has been, and on this sheet here, avoid! Avoid! Avoid this! Why, mateys? Uh, may leach styrene a possible human carcinogen. So check your plastics, people. If it has a six, don't give it to kids for sure. Um, this says uh, do not microwave and uh, <coughs> hand wash only, so don't put it in the um, in the uh, dishwasher. The reason being that it doesn't leach any of the weird chemicals until it heats up. Um, but then it uh, not good for you. <coughs> Guess where these are going? <coughs> okay. Um, and the plates. Now, the plate is manufactured by a company called Gibson. And I went and looked at their website, which is linked below. Um, and we have what's called the Melacore plates. And this looks like a Melacore plate. Um, although it may be one of their other plates, but essentially it's melamine. <coughs> melamine is a kind of a plastic. Um, it's formed out of formaldehyde, among other things. And they heat it up, and then they mold it. And the idea being that unless you heat it up again, it keeps its shape. It's really good. Quite strong, pretty break resistant, quite good. However, <clears throat> it says right on the bottom, do not use in the microwave. Not recommended for microwave use. And uh, uh, dishwasher safe, top rack only. So again, <clears throat> basically, when you look it up, this will leach all kinds of stuff um, that's really not good for you. So if you have any of this, seriously consider getting rid of it. I know I'm going to get rid of mine. Now, back to the point of the water. Of course, everyone knows that uh, these water bottles you know, are only good for a couple of months, and then they start leaching. Um, now, it used to be that people thought, well, it's, it's only if you, it only becomes a problem if you heat it up. Um, but no. <clears throat> Effectively, they've done some recent studies, which are linked below, which show that... Uh, <clears throat> pull that up here, sorry. <clears throat> 
Yeah, one of the dangers of Mellowmine. Sorry, I've got to go through all these. <laughs> I've got lots of links. Okay, um, yeah, so this is made out of what's called the polyethylene terra, terra fat late, flat late, I don't know. Anyway, PET is what it is. And um, it's really bad for you. And the recent studies have discovered that it can start leaching into regular water in about nine months. Eight, nine, ten months, somewhere around there. So if you have bottled water, make sure it's not in a type 1 container if you're going to keep it for more than a few months. Um, and you probably shouldn't even keep it in that. Because who knows, I... The other thing, of course, is they're single use. They should not be reused with anything because uh, bacteria can get into the plastic um, on the inside after you start drinking it, sort of thing. Um, so it's not very good for you. Now, this particular brand, Nestle Pure Life, also contains fluoride. So check your labels very carefully. Um, I, when I bought this, I, did, I wasn't even thinking. I was just I had to get some water. Um, but you'll note I didn't drink very much of it. <laughs> and it's been sitting in the fridge since then, and it's gone in the bin. <clears throat> now, type 1 plastic, PET, this PET plastic, isn't used in all kinds of things. Now, before I do these reports, um, I usually make myself a nice cup of ginger tea. Um, take ginger, slice it up, um, let it soak for a bit, and put some honey in there. And I normally use, uh, try to find some kind of organic honey. Now, I've got some here. I don't know where I picked it up. Um, I've had it for a while, maybe a couple months. Guess what? Type 1 plastic, which means that the bad stuff out of the chemicals is slowly leaching into the honey, which kind of negates the whole point. So, guess what else I've got? I've got uh, nice organic honey here, and it's in the glass jar. Good for you. Now, there's all kinds of things coming, number one. Um, this, for instance, uh, most Salad dressings, foods, they come in number one. And uh, things like ketchup, uh, mustard, so forth, also comes in number one. Now, Heinz used to make the ketchup in glass bottles, and you can keep it forever in the fridge. Um, but I would not recommend you do the same with uh, the current ones. So, no more than five or six months after that. Sorry, you're getting chemicals, all kinds of weird stuff added into your food. Not very good for you. Now, what about this pet? So, uh, they've decided that uh, perhaps uh, the, the phthalates are potentially leaching out of the plastic into your food. Now, what does it do? <clears throat> it disrupts the physiological function of your hormones. Now, some of them, uh, bisphenol A is banned in the US and um, uh, Canada and in Europe. Um, but you also have this problem with the uh, polyethylene uh, phthalate thingy, the PET. <clears throat> yeah, polyethylene terephthalate. And the phthalate, uh, there's all kinds of weird effects of what this can do. It can cause, um, uh, some studies have shown that, um, and I'll try and link the video down below from uh, CBC, that you end up with a lot more girls uh, being born than boys, for instance. And uh, also it's very difficult for certain people to have children and all this stuff, and they think perhaps it's related to the chemical exposure. On a side note, Brita is owned by Clorox here in, in uh, North America. Clorox, of all things. And uh, <clears throat> what else does Clorox do? They do Tylex. Uh, they also do things like, um, uh, you, you completely, you would not think that Clorox, a chemical company, would be dealing with these things. But one is um, um, Hill Valley uh, Foods, and the other one is uh, <coughs> Burt's Bees. Now, Burt's Bees is a brand of uh, natural uh, food, uh, sorry, uh, cosmetic pro products. Um, it's actually, most of it's pretty good. <coughs> and they are trying trying very hard to pass themselves off as fully natural, although some of the things that they put in their uh, stuff is a little weird. Um, if you follow the links down below, you will eventually get to a company called Oil Chem, which provides some of the natural products used by companies like Burt's Bees. Now, I don't know how much it uses, and I'm sure most of it's fine, but if you're going get, to get on your high horse and say they're all, you're all natural, um, when in fact you only have to be 95% natural, which means 5% can be completely synthetic. Um, you get a little confused. But follow the links, you'll understand. And a last note. So Tylex comes in a plastic bottle. Oh look! It's a Type 4! <laughs> One of the ones that are supposed to be good for you. 
So they're putting their tile cleaner into the good plastic. <laughs> Meanwhile, companies are putting their food into the bad plastic. Go figure. Peace, love, understanding. Think about things. Bye.